Hello, my beautiful, darling cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. I do have a Leo and Virgo only channel also. Um, readings can be vice versa. So flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway on the channel. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. So hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section, not the chat, because I won't see it if you put it in the chat, okay? If you don't mind winning any one of those things, you can um, hashtag the word all, okay? Uh, my tarot tutorial is going to be 50% off until the end of Virgo season. I did it for Cancer Baby season and I'm doing it for Leo and Virgo since I have a Leo and Virgo channel, okay? Um, my new tarot and oracle deck is on my website. If you would like to check it out, the link is below, okay, my darlings? All right, so in this reading, um, for those of you who are new, uh, we're going to do a little bit of everything. We're going to do a yes, no question, spiritual messages, um, future predictions, love reading, singles reading, um, a career and finance for both business owners and for employees. And then we're going to do cancer in all 12 at the end. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a what's the tea message also. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit of everything. Okay. So cancer, go ahead and think of two yes or no questions two or yes or no questions so we'll do first yes no question for cancer 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 the answer is yes especially if it's regarding a a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. That's double confirmation. Okay, second yes or no question for Cancer. Second yes, no question for Cancer. Second yes, no qu question for Cancer. The answer is yes with the Ace of Wands. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. All right, so let's see what we have here for spiritual messages for you guys. What to look out for spiritually. Spirit, tell me about my beautiful cancer babies. Guys, speaking of spiritual messages, if you would like to check it out, I do a coffee and cancers reading on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays very early in the morning. And it tells you what's blocking you in love, what's blocking you spiritually, what's blocking you financially, and how to handle um, all 12 signs on a more spiritual um level okay so uh there's a whole playlist if you can go on and look at the playlist all right so let's see what we have here for my cancer babies spiritually what does cancer need to know spiritually this person cannot stand to see you shine this person causing you negativity is an earth sign so it could be a capricorn taurus or a virgo A family member is hating on you. So Cancer, there's people in your energy that can't stand to see you happy. They can't hand to stand to see you glowing, okay? If you're on social media for work, they can't stand that you're successful. Or if you're, you've been posting more on social media, it's summertime, maybe you're going out, going places, they can't stand to see you in a happy place. There is an earth sign here that's putting evil eye on your life, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, there is a family member that is also wishing bad on your life. The divine is advising you to use clear quartz here. It easily dispels negative energy and at the same time attracts positive energy. It absorbs balance and regulates negative forces and energies. So Cancer, if you have um, a bracelet or a ring or a, a, a 
necklace um, or keep it you know maybe by your bed as you sleep or in your house clear quartz is really big to protect you from these haters here okay um, we also have blue sage under the deck light heavenly aroma that's great for cleansing the energy of your home calming relaxation and tranquility so clear quartz and blue sage okay that is uh, that will help you with these people that are wishing negativity on your life okay all right let's see what we have here for future predictions spirit tell me about future predictions for my cancer babies by the way this is my oracle deck you can find it on my website spirit tell me about future predictions for my cancer babies future predictions for my cancer babies please future predictions for cancer Okay, so this is going to happen within a week, Cancer. We've got electronics, a new phone, new computer, new TV, new appliance, damage, cracked, upgrading, protect your devices. So Cancer, please watch your phone. You may end up dropping your phone or maybe you may end up going into your uh, you know, phone store and realizing that you're eligible for an upgrade. Some of you need to get a new computer, maybe buy a new TV. There's something here with your devices, okay? Either you just, you're deciding to get a new one or something breaks and you have to get a new one okay i'm seeing endings here cancer so some of you could be finalizing a divorce within a week for others of you there could be you leaving a job or possibly getting fired or it could be relationships that are ending friendships family members romantic you're walking away from something but whatever this ending is it's a final ending there will be no going back towards it okay Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer. So cancer, you have a very important message coming in, okay? So if someone calls you, be sure to pick up the phone, respond quickly, open your mail. There's an important conversation that's coming towards you. We've got the marriage card here and we've got obstacles. Okay, so Cancer, this could be an X that's coming back around. Whatever obstacles were, were affecting this person from coming forward and committing to you fully, that is now out of the way. So Spirit is telling you, you know, something is coming towards you in divine timing. It is, in fact, God or Spirit that is sending you this person back because they have removed whatever obstacles needed to be removed for this person to... to uh, commit to you long term so someone is coming in for full you know for long-term commitment this could even lead to marriage okay all right three more please spirit we've got cleansing we've got surgery and we've got prison okay so cancer i'm seeing you decluttering your space clearing your energy some of you could be getting into frequency music um perhaps using crystals or you know using spell work to cleanse your energy salt bath salt showers okay um for others of you you may be going into surgery whether it's medical or cosmetic spirit is advising you to get a second chance listen to your intuition and also so pay attention to making sure that you have everything set up after the surgery because uh, you may need more help than you think you do. So make sure that your food shopping is done, bills are paid, uh, make sure that there's someone available to help you after the surgery, okay? So we've got prison here. So Cancer, please be careful with who you're getting into the car with or who you're associating with. Um, some of you uh, may, you know what I'm saying, be and may have fines owed, like a ticket or something that you're not aware of that you have to pay. Some of you could be getting indicted or you may have a friend or a family member that may be facing charges, okay? Um, just please be careful because you could end up getting arrested or getting into trouble for hanging around people where you're innocent. You, you know, you could get in the car with someone that's got something in the car that you don't know is there and you're associated with it. Um, someone that you know that is in prison may potentially be released earlier than expected. Okay. All right. So let's see here. All right. Okay. Let's do a what's the T reading, a general reading here. What is the T for cancer, please? What is the T for cancer, please? What is the T for cancer, please? Oh, 
happiness haters and ain't shit so cancer if you're getting married or if you're in a loving relationship or maybe if you're traveling or if you're just moving forward in life business is looking good or you're just looking good there are people in your energy that just are not working on themselves they're so busy hating on the people around them that their life is going to shit they, these people don't even hold a candle to you and they are hating on you so you are being called to protect your energy I, I do see you being completely unfazed by this though cancer i feel like you could care less we've got acting cold and haunted so cancer you're going to start to notice that people around you may get real nasty with you or they may start acting cold but that's because these people may be getting literally haunted at night so whatever negative energy is they're sending to you the, it's coming back to these people so it's going to start to torment them all right so you're going to notice these haters are going to start you know maybe being cold towards you nasty towards you and that is because um negativity is coming back into their life and i feel like it hurts their ego it hurts their ego because they're wishing bad on you and the more bad they wish on you the more they're hurting themselves okay someone here may be losing their house losing their home having to pack up their stuff from a job so the people that are hating on you cancer are experiencing loss they may be getting fired where they have to pack up their uh you know their their desk or something or they could be getting kicked out of their house or having to move from somewhere do you understand what i'm saying it's hurting their ego because they're wishing bad on you and meanwhile they're paying their karma oh this person who oh, oh my gosh these people here are having they're getting attacked at night we've got haunted and nightmares insomnia paranoia anxiety unable to sleep sees things under eye bags this is someone these people's houses are being haunted at night these people that are hurting you your spirit guides are not playing these spirit guides, they're, they're very much arrogant and in their ego wanting to hurt you for no reason at all. Just because they're not focusing on their own life or they're not blessed in their own life, um, they spend so much time hating on you and possibly other people, okay? These people are being haunted and especially at night when they sleep here okay we've got marrying for money and fake smiles so these are people cancer that are in your energy possibly because you do well for for those of you um cancer that do well for yourself financially there's people in your life that smile to your face but they hate the fact you know i mean you may be marrying someone that's a gold digger that's possible but i'm getting more a sense of these haters are around you because you're blessed and abundant in some way and spirits you know god has a bird's eye view the you know what i'm saying they're not going to get away with putting you know evil eye on your life and again we've got two cards here cancer of unfazed and unbothered okay you have people here that want to be you they act like you dress like you look like you they try to copy you these people try to copy what you're doing to have the blessings that you have and they they can't you know you can't compete where you don't compare and they hate that they hate that tell me about cancer please you're too busy winning here oh cancer you oh my gosh you the more they try to attack you the more haunted they be their household becomes and the more you win you're a queen rising here stepping into power praised coming up spotlight too busy winning okay and they're very in their head about this overthinking stressed and over over um analyzing they don't understand why they're either doing spell work on you sending you evil eye wishing bad on your life trying to create drama in your life in some way here and nothing bad is happening to you you're completely unfazed instead it's turning back on them where they're losing losing their job, losing their home, losing a business. You know what I'm saying? They're experiencing extreme activity, especially at nighttime. Okay. And cancer, you're just turning those you're turning that hate into blessings. The more they hate on you, the more blessed you are. Okay. Moving on. All right. Let's see what we have here in love. What do we have in love for my cancer babies? What do we have in love for my cancer babies? Okay, we have fear. What do we have here in love for my cancer babies? And we've got justice. And we've got loss. 
tell me about my cancer babies. What do we have here? We've got purifying. Give me one more on that. And we've got the chase. Tell me about cancer in love. Text message and sex. <clears throat> cancer, you're dealing with someone that's really scared that they have lost you. Okay, this person got caught up with sexting or with somebody that they got caught up in lust. They got caught up in lust and I feel like they have gotten, they've purged that from their system. Okay. Um, the honeymoon phase is over with that situation and now they're going to start chasing you, but they were so caught up with this lustful situation and maybe they're realizing that it was just lust. Maybe they're realizing that now that that is out of the way, there's nothing between them and this person. And now they're waking up and they're like, oh my gosh, where did cancer go? So they're having fear that they they have that they're going to pay karma here for that they're they're afraid of the consequences of their actions this person got lost in lust they completely forgot about your existence and now they they they've snapped out of it because the honeymoon phase is over with that lustful situation and now they're like oh my god where's cancer where did cancer go you know what i'm saying <clears throat> all right well let's see here tell me about fear for cancer's person tell me about fear we have the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So Cancer, this person made a very reckless decision here and hurt you. This person may have blocked you. They may have shut you out, okay, to go chase and pursue something else. Tell me about loss. And yeah, Three of Cups in the reverse here, Cancer, and the Four of Cups. You don't want them back. They, they're realizing here that it's going to be very difficult to get you back. You know, this person, they're snapping out of a lustful situation and they're realizing here that they're, they, they may have really be paying <clears throat> their karma this time because they can't seem to get you to reconcile. We've got temperance and the two of pentacles. What happened here is cancer. You know, temperance is a card of tempered emotions. It means when emotions die down and it's kind of like flatlining, right? So I feel like they met someone and they were overcome with lust. And now that that honeymoon phase is over, now that the, everything is out of their system, they don't feel anything for that person. Do you understand? And with the two of pentacles, now they're like, what have I done? Why did I do this? This was so stupid of me to do this. Do you understand? with the judgment card and the nine of swords here now this person wants another chance with you they want to come back but they're realizing they went too far this time that's exactly what happened with this person they went way too far this time we're going to clarify with my deck spirit shield tarot <clears throat> tell me about the nine of wands here for cancer the knight of cups tell me about the knight of swords here and the Ten of Swords. So Cancer, I feel like, you know, you may have uh, shown this person a lot of love or you may have tried talking to this person and they shut you out. They went to go chase something. They betrayed you with that Ten of Swords energy to go chase something that was nothing. I mean, it was just lust, okay? Three of Cups in the reverse with the Eight of Cups. They walked away from you, Cancer, and now they've missed their opportunity. They've missed their opportunity. Four of Cups here and the Three of Wands. They're really missing you, Cancer. They are really missing you. I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune and this Queen of Wands energy, this uh, third party energy was put in your person's past as a divine test and your person failed. Your person failed miserably. Tell me about the two of pentacles here and the ten of pentacles in the reverse. Now it's like this person is waking up from a fog cancer asking themselves, what the hell was I thinking? Because I lost a ten of pentacles. I lost a, an abundant, prosperous future with someone that loved me and was loyal to me. Do you understand? So this person, it's like waking up out of a fog, realizing what they've lost. And they have a lot of fear that this time you're not going to forgive them. I mean, and if you do forgive them, you're not going to take them back. Tell me about cancer. We've got grass is greener. Tell me about cancer. 
And we've got Oblivious. Tell me about cancer. We've got rebound and we've got manipulation. Tell me about cancer, please. We've got depth and we've got influences, new beginnings and loss. Okay, cancer, here's the deal. Here's how well you know this person. Okay, cancer. I feel like, number one, you are starting to realize here that, you know, you deserve better than what this person has been putting you through. I feel like this has happened more than once. For my cancers that I'm reading for, I feel like this is not the first time so this person betrayed you and uh, sabotaged the connection to go see if the grass was greener somewhere else. I think that cancer, in the beginning when this person started doing this to you, you may have been a little bit jealous thinking that, you know, your person was going to go off and find happiness and joy somewhere else. Do you understand? But now, cancer you've gotten to the point where you know this person so well that you feel bad for these third party energies this is actually how well you know this person because you're like these poor people have no idea what they're getting themselves into have you ever seen those memes or whatever where it says, you know, right now as I speak, my ex, uh, you know, has met someone and that person thinks that they've met the best thing in their life? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you're sitting in an energy where I feel so sorry for that third party. Obviously, that third party has no idea what they're getting themselves into. Because with manipulation and rebound cancer, you know that your person goes to these third party energies, uses them, discards them, and then comes back to you. But cancer, I feel that with depth and influences here, you're realizing that you need to let this go and start a new beginning elsewhere because you love deeply. You're in a very traditional energy where you love and you want something solid and stable and your person does nothing but bring third party energies into the picture uses these third parties discards them and then always somehow ends up on your doorstep and like I said, initially, this may have been very difficult for you because you may have experienced jealousy over this or whatever, but now you're just in an energy where you're not jealous anymore. You're just disgusted and you feel bad for the people that this person goes towards. You actually feel bad for that person. Do you understand? So I, I think that cancer, you're really done with this and you're ready to start something new. You may have already met someone new or someone new is coming in. Tell me about grass is greener for cancer. We've got the six of cups and the ace of wands. I feel like this has happened multiple times in the past cancer. It has happened multiple times in the past where this ex dipped on you to go have one night stands or to have sex with other people oblivious with the king of cups here and the three of wands um i feel like cancer you know you're just sitting in an energy where you have learned to control your emotions when it comes down to this person and with the three of wands and the five of cups cancer you really do feel bad for these third party energies because they have no idea what they're getting themselves into do you see what i'm saying tell me about cancer We've got the Four of Swords and the Knight of Wands, yeah, and the Ten of Swords. You've, you know, when you go through something so many times that you become numb, you're numb. Ten of Swords, you're, you do not feel any pain with this person. You don't feel love with this person. You have gone emotionally, you have checked out of the building. Okay, this player has brought you to the point. I'm telling you with the seven of cups and the moon card, you know that this person is a pathological liar. You know that this person will never be committed to anybody. There's nothing to be jealous over because you're realizing here that this is someone that will never commit or treat anybody correctly. So this is not a loss. You know, there may have been a point in time in this relationship where you got jealous thinking that this person was going to go off to a third party and they were going to live happily ever after and you've come to realize that this is someone that just abuses people you've healed from it you don't care anymore you feel sorry for whoever crosses this person's path and you just want to move on six of cups here with the knight of wands this is someone that is a serial cheater serial cheater tell me about the ace of wands here 
with the lover's card, Adam, Eve, and the snake, this person gives into temptation. They give into temptation. And Cancer, there's an energy on your part here. We've got the five of cups twice. Um, I feel that Cancer, the way you feel about this person is you genuinely grieve for any woman or man that crosses this person's path. Do you understand? With the Ace of Swords, the Devil, and the Four of Swords, what you have come to see is this person's true colors. You're healing from it, and you don't want anything more to do with it. Tell me about this Knight of Wands energy and the Nine of Swords. This person has stressed you out, trauma bonded you, um, done what, you know, they have just put you through it, Cancer, to the point where you've gone numb. You see them for who and what they they truly are no more rose colored glasses and you just want to move on and move away the full card and the six of cups with the six of swords you are leaving this person behind um, we have new beginnings here cancer so i feel that many of you are coming out of the one of the darkest relationships quite possibly of your life you've learned your lesson you truly feel genuine sorrow and remorse for anybody that comes across this person's path and all you want to do is just get away and move on with your life that's it so just know cancer that they are coming back and they are facing some form of fear and karma because you know you were this person's uh um it's like you were home base for this person. They would come towards you. It's comfortable and loving where you are. It's warm and cozy. So they would kind of chill with you until they found their next person that they wanted to go and see if the grass was greener. And then they would leave you hanging and leave you for dead. Go play over there and come back. And this may have been happening for quite some time until you finally realized that this person is so abusive that you actually have sorrow in your heart for anyone that this person encounters okay let's see here all right let's do a singles reading for cancer spirit tell me about my cancer singles please tell me about my cancer singles please Cancer singles, please. Tell me about my cancer singles, please. So we've got friendship and we have money. We have fair mail. We've got communication, ice king. Courting man and ice queen. Okay, so cancer, I do feel that you're going to meet somebody. And I think that both of you might be in this energy, but it's possible that only one of you are, okay? Either both of you or one of you make a lot of money, okay? And I feel like this is somebody that gets used a lot because of their finances or both of you get used a lot because of your finances. So there is a need to be friends first because somebody has learned their lesson. They don't just jump into relationships quickly anymore. And I, I really do believe it's both of you. I do, you know what I'm saying, where you guys get used a lot financially. But again, it could only be one. I do see a lot of communication. I do see that you guys are on the same basis page with developing a friendship first this person could be um there could be a man here that has uh, light hair light skin light eyes possibly um you guys are both in ice king ice queen mode which tells me that you know you guys are both you know it's more logical than it is emotional for you guys okay so i feel a friendship first you guys both using your discernment okay both using your discernment to see if the other person is worthy to bring into your energy so this could be one or both of you you guys uh, may have both be divorced or you guys may have both experienced very negative endings. I feel like both of you are both a little emotionally guarded. 
and and you know wanting to use discernment in this situation i do feel that it will go from friendship to courting you know what i'm saying it will move into a romantic realm with you and this person um but you know there are some obstacles in this new relationship okay because both of you are in an energy of an at the beginning withholding so this is something that's going to start as friendship first i do see there being a tremendous amount of communication though so communication is open. It's just emotionally, you guys are both very guarded and you may even talk to each other about, you know, the past and things that have happened to you. Okay. So it's going to start off extremely slow, but it will turn into true love cancer. You are destined to meet this person. Okay. I do feel you guys letting loose and having more fun together. I do see this turning into, um, high levels of commitment marriage. And I do see that you guys are going to work very well together if both of you are um very much financial like if you guys are entrepreneurs or if you guys you know um are very money and goal oriented i do see you guys working together in that sense all right okay moving on to my cancer baby bosses Spirit, tell me about my cancer baby bosses, my entrepreneurs, my business owners, my boss daddies and boss mommies. Tell me about, okay. I don't know why I don't think that should take those. Okay. Spirit, tell me about my cancer baby bosses. Tell me about my cancer baby bosses. Okay. So we've got life purpose, more than money, spiritual wealth. Okay. So cancer, number one, the divine wants you to remember that there's more to life than just money. So some of you really do need to start focusing on work-life balance. Okay. Um, we have an award here, cancer. So I do feel that some of you are going to maybe uh, experience some type of recognition in the work place. Maybe you're going to end up on the newspaper. Maybe someone's going to do a podcast about you, but you're being awarded and recognized for your hard work and everything that you're putting into your business right now. Okay. There's some type of fame or advertisement here happening for you where someone is coming forward and promoting your business. Oh, this just turned, uh, came out. Um, so cancer, I do see that for some of you, the business is going to be very slow, but it will be steady. Okay. And we do see a financial relief. So being content. Um, I, I feel like cancer, you know, if business, if, if for my business owners, money starts to slow down, but it's somewhat steady. Spirit is telling you if business is slow, then instead of panicking and having anxiety on, you know, chasing money, use that time to have a little bit more of a work-life balance, appreciate other things in your life. Financial relief is coming, but you know, you have to worry also about being content in your own life taking that time to relax okay so there's a reason why business is slowing down and that's because you're being called to focus on other things in your life instead of chasing money okay um okay so for my employees what's happening for my cancer baby employees and cancer baby employees what is happening in the workplace here for my cancer baby employees what do we have here in work for my cancer employees we have brainstorming we have in their feelings we have i hate nothing about you and we have depression and then we've got anger management okay so cancer some of you Okay, there could be somebody in the workplace cancer that uh, does not know how to control their anger and their feelings. Okay, now this could be you or someone in your workplace. Okay, I feel honestly, Cancer, that you have nothing against this person. I hate nothing about you. There is a coworker or a manager or a boss where you have no, when you wake up and go to work in the morning, you have no ill will towards anyone in your workplace. This is someone that doesn't know how to 
to control their emotions. This person jumps between depression and anger, okay? They, they, when they get angry, they get really nasty in the workplace. This is somebody that is not doing well in their mental space, okay? And Cancer, I feel like you're sitting in, a, in an energy of trying to figure out how do I work with somebody like this? How do I deal with a manager that's like this? How do I deal with a boss that's like this? Or how am I able to work side by side with somebody that is this nasty in their feelings? They struggle with depression. It's just a very negative energy, okay? This is someone that maybe needs to go to anger management classes, see a therapist, see a psychologist, maybe be on medication for mood swings. This person may have really bad mood swings, okay? So Cancer, you're sitting in an energy of how am I supposed to deal with this? Do you understand? And I feel like you genuinely have no ill will towards this person whatsoever, you know? We've got the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Cancer, I feel like the way this is going to end is you taking your power back and moving to a different location. With that Nine of Pentacles energy, I feel like you're going to end up moving towards a different place that pays you better, that appreciates you more. Um, you know, you're brainstorming with how to make it work, but I don't think it's going to work. I think eventually you're going to realize it's time to just go. Yeah, Five of Pentacles here. So Cancer, some of you may be leaving this and you may actually be going into business on your own and that's going to be very financially prosperous for you or cancer you're going to a, another job where you're going to be appreciated more paid more things are going to uh, work better like the employees work together as a team um eight of cups and the five of pentacles you can brainstorm all you want because you know cancer you may not want to change your job you may not want to go through you know there's things about your job that are comfortable you've been there a long time it's close to your house it's close to the kids school where you have to pick up your kids you know there's things about your job that you love but there is someone in your energy in the workplace whether it's a co-worker boss manager that is really tormenting your life this person has mental issues and there's nothing wrong with that we're all entitled to you know they struggle with depression mood swings anger um, there's nothing wrong with that but this person is not getting the help that they need and you don't know how to react to this because you truly have no bad feelings towards this person okay um i feel like you're just going to end up walking away and you're going to end up in a much better place than where you are now in the workplace okay whether that's you starting your own thing or or moving to a different job okay all righty my loves let's go ahead and do cancer and all 12 signs All right, Spirit, tell me about my beautiful Cancer babies and all 12 signs. Tell me about my beautiful Cancer babies and all 12 signs, please. Cancer babies and all 12 signs. Aries to Pisces. Okay, Spirit, tell me about my Cancer babies, please, and all 12 signs. Aries to Pisces, please, Spirit. Aries to Pisces for Cancer and all 12 signs. Okay, let's put this bad boy right here. Okay, Cancer. <clears throat> if we're dealing with an Aries, we have red flag. We've got the Hermit, the Knight of Swords, the Fool card, the Four of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. So Cancer, the red flag that you're seeing in this Aries is that um, this person is all over the place, okay? They may make plans with you and then cancel them. This person may make promises and they forget about them tomorrow. This person is in and out. Um, this person is constantly leaving you disappointed and trying to understand what is going on. If you're feeling confused, Cancer, that is a, a number one indication that you're investing your love, your time, and energy in the wrong place, okay? Someone that is serious about you will never leave you confused. So if you're confused with this Aries, it's not it's not where you're meant to be putting your time and your energy. 
if we're dealing with a Taurus, we have secret lover, we've got the devil, we've got the hanged man, we've got the empress, we have the star, we have the five of pentacles and the six of swords. Okay, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Taurus here that only contacts you here, there, uh, within work hours, okay, um, this is somebody that ha is in a higher level of commitment and they only come around when they've got time to sneak out of the house to come see you. They run to go get some milk, they'll call you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, or, you know, Cancer, this could be if, if you or the Taurus are living with your parents, it could be that parents are 100% against this connection and you can only talk to this person behind your parents' back or when your parents leave the house or when your parents aren't home or vice versa. Um, just take note, Cancer, for some of you, you could be parents and your children could be doing this. If you're, par uh, you know, Cancer and Taurus, if, if you guys are, are parents, let's just say your children could be meeting up when you leave the house with that person that you don't want them to meet up with here. But there's a sense of somebody going behind someone's back, having to keep this a secret. Yeah, someone here wants to keep the Empress public and the Empress happy. And then there's someone on the side, I'll see you when I can. Okay, so this could be a representation of a third party situation, or it could be a representation of, listen, I got to keep my mom happy. I got to keep my dad happy because I don't want to hear them. They'll make my life miserable. So, you know, we're just going to have to sneak around. Okay, there could be a parent here that just doesn't want this connection together. If we're dealing with a Gemini, we've got late night, we have the three of pentacles, Pentacles, we've got the chariot, we have the ten of wands, we've got the king of swords, we've got the ace of wands, and we've got the knight of cups. So Cancer, I feel like with the Gemini, this person might be throwing off some red flags and you're not really sure what to do with it. I think you're dealing with a Gemini that works very long hours and they contact you late at night. They come, you know, and they, they you know, it kind of seems like if this person gets off of work at 10, they call you, they're sex, there's not really much room for dating or whatever. And you may start to get worried that this person's only coming towards you at night. I think that they have positive intentions with the Knight of Cups. When this person gets a day off or when they have time, they will bring out the romance when they have time. But for now, it may seem like it's a sexual thing because this is a Gemini that works a lot and they they want to see you right after work. So this person may work late hours or have a lot of responsibilities. And then when they have time, they contact you and it's making it look like they're only hitting you up for sex, but they're not. As soon as this person gets some time or a day off, they will show you the romantic side of things take you out to dinner or spend time with you go for a walk on the beach or something like that okay so it's not don't get in your head about it okay it's just because this person's busy if we're dealing with another cancer we've got propose we have the king of pentacles we've got the tower we have the four of pentacles we have the seven of swords we've got the hierophant and we have the eight of cups what Cancer, if you're dealing with another cancer, someone here is going to propose marriage and they're going to get the shock of their life. Uh, someone's going to say no. Someone is going to say no and they're going to walk away. There could be a cancer that was only in this for their own benefit. I don't know, maybe money, maybe something like that, okay? But it's like the, we have a person here that's in for the shock of their life because they're going to propose to someone quite possibly in a public place, okay? And this person's going to say no, and then they're going to turn around and run out of the restaurant, run out of whatever, um, yeah, someone's about to see another person's true colors, Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Uh, if we're dealing with a Leo, we have guilt. We've got the nine of wands. We have the 10 of pentacles. We have the four of wands. We've got the lover's card. We have the seven of cups and we have the five of swords. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Leo, there is definitely an energy of guilt here because I feel that um, th there's a person here that's in a higher level of commitment 
but they can't stop fantasizing about a third party. So Cancer, I don't know if you're the third party here. If you know a Leo that's committed elsewhere, a friend of yours or something, there's someone here that can't stop thinking about you. They're very attracted to you. And this is someone that I do believe is going to walk away. Um, you know what it is? It's like, this is a, there now cancer. I don't know. You could be in a relationship with the Leo and the Leo is guilty because they're thinking about someone else. Whoever is in the higher level of commitment here, they're feeling guilty because they can't stop fantasizing about the person that they really want. So I don't know where you stand there, cancer. I don't know if you're the person they really want, or if you're in a relationship with a Leo and your Leo is acting funny, it could be that they want someone else. So this is someone that's really trying with that nine of wands energy to hold it together and not think about it. But this is someone that can't stop daydreaming about their person. What I'm feeling really threw it over the edge is they had sex with their partner and the entire time they were thinking about the third party. Now, Cancer, you could be the third party. I don't know. I don't know where you stand in this, okay? But someone's coming into an energy of feeling really guilty and realizing that it's time to walk away from their commitment because they can't stop thinking about someone. Somebody, okay if we're dealing with a virgo we have confession and the eight of wands with the page of swords the five of wands the ten of cups the wheel of fortune and the ace of pentacles okay so cancer there's a virgo coming back into your energy and this is what they know they know that if there's any hope at all in the world of having another chance with you they have to come clean they have to come clean about everything they've ever put you through. This could be someone that gaslighted you a lot and, you know, you had proof of things and they discard, they disregarded it. You knew things were happening. They disregarded it and you don't want to go back to that craziness anymore, right? So this could be a Virgo that's coming clean about everything. Like this person is going to communion, okay? With the five of wands here, Cancer, this person knows that it may spark an argument. It may hurt your feelings and initially by them being brutally honest with you but they also know that if there's any chance of them getting you back and having a future with you they have to do this so cancer please be advised that whatever you're about to hear from this virgo is going to sting it's going to sting a little bit and you may even be upset to hear it but at least this person is being honest with you and the reason why they're doing it that is because they want to they they want it to be real this time they're coming back to build a solid foundation with you to build a future with you and they know that the only way to do it is is to come to you in an energy where you won't find out the truth about things three weeks down the line or they know you're very intuitive do you understand so they know that if they reconcile with you you'll know that they've been somewhere else or that there's something that they're hiding this is a virgo that doesn't want any more secrets they want to lay it out on the table they understand that you're going to get upset or be hurt about it but then they realize that there's now an opportunity to have a future with you if there's any chance of them having a future with you they have to do this okay if you're if we're dealing with a libra unexpected visitor the eight of pentacles the four of swords the three of cups the nine of swords the three of wands and the nine of pentacles okay cancer if you're dealing with a libra your person um has a third party and this third party is tired of sitting around waiting yeah the, the, this third party is going to pop up in your workplace or you could be just be like your this Libra could be on the couch you're cooking dinner cleaning the house you're doing something and out of nowhere you get a ring on your doorbell okay with the nine of swords here I feel like it's it's gonna hurt you know what I'm saying but with the three of wands and the nine of pentacles here I, I don't see that once this takes place where this person rings your doorbell and, and tells you that your person's been cheating, whatever you're about to find out, you're just no, as much as you don't want to let this relationship go, you're realizing that you're better on your own here. It's going to be something that you can forgive, but not forget. Okay. Um, if we're dealing with a Scorpio, we have denial. We have the two of pentacles. We've got the knight of pentacles. We've got the king of cups scorpio energy we've got the king of wands we have the ace of swords and we've got the queen of wands okay 
Uh, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, someone here is going to find something out on someone's phone. There, There's going to be an actual message or real tangible proof, but this person is going to play deny, deny, deny. This is someone that is going to deny so much, they're going to have you wondering, is this a picture of a naked girl? Is it? Is this is this a is this a dick pic? Is am I seeing this right or is this just a giraffe? What is this? I don't know. Like it's you're they're going to deny so much that you're going to actually start thinking that you're crazy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, but you're not crazy. You're not crazy. There is two men here and one female or two females, one man, whatever it is. There's three people here. Okay? There's three people here. Actually, there's four people here with the knight, okay? Someone here is talking to one too many people and this is someone that wants to play. I'm going to deny it until my face falls off. I'm going to deny it. And it literally is like someone is sitting here like I, the proof is right there. Like there's like a naked guy or a naked girl on your phone. You answered. They answered. There's hearts. There's eggplant emojis. There's there's emojis. There's, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like right here. What are you not seeing that I'm not seeing? And they're like, that's not really there. That's not even my message. That's my friend's message. My friend used my phone the other day because he's cheating on Amy. And, you know, he used my phone the other day. And that's the conversation between my friend and someone else. And I'll call Mike right now. And Mike can tell you that's his conversation because it's not my conversation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this person will ju is just going to deny it until like they're just going to deny everything. Do you understand? Um, but the proof is there. So cancer, you do what you're going to do with it. Okay. Tell me about Cancer and Sag. We've got single. We've got the Magician. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the World card. We have the Moon card. And we have the Six of Wands. Cancer, you're dealing with a Sagittarius that prayed for somebody like you. They prayed for somebody loyal. They prayed for someone committed. They prayed for someone that, you know, is blessed financially and also has a very giving heart. And you are all of those things. What you don't know, Cancer, is that this Sagittarius has been brought into your life to, to test you, to test you, because this Sagittarius has not committed to you. This Sagittarius still goes out with their friends as a single person. OK, and you're already acting like a wife or a husband. You're taking care of this person, giving them money, doing them favors, doing things for them. Um, you know, you're this person's dream come true because you're just an ATM, free ATM of money and time and favors and cleaning up after them and doing whatever. Do you understand? So you're acting like a husband and a wife to someone that's out there single. And, and with the six of wands, they're bragging about it. Oh, yeah, I'm out. They're out with their boys. They're out with the girls. Oh, yeah, no, he or she is home doing my laundry right now. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, meanwhile, this person's out at the club hitting on people. Do you understand? You're, you're acting, you're giving more than you're receiving. And this is, this Sagittarius was brought into your life as a test. Do you understand? They were brought into your life as a test. Okay. Um, Sag, what's next? Capricorn. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, we've got soul connection. We've got the high priestess. We've got the five of cups. We've got the ace of cups. We have the three of swords. We've got the emperor and we have the two of cups. So Cancer, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, this is new. This is someone new coming into your life. Um, I feel that when you meet this Capricorn, you are not going to tell this Capricorn about your history in love, your disappointments, your heartbreak, you are not going to tell this Capricorn about it, but this Capricorn is very intuitive. They may have Cancer or Pisces in their chart, Cancer. This is a Capricorn that's very intuitive. And you know when they say it takes a strong person to love someone who's been broken? This is a true divine masculine energy that will step up to the pay, uh, plate and fix things that they haven't broken. This is someone that, you know, feels a strong soul tie with you because we've got the Two of Cups and Soul Connection right there. So this is a Capricorn that that feels that you need someone strong, someone to show you that not everybody is out to hurt you. This is someone that is out to fix things that they have not broken. OK, this is someone that wants to show you and prove to you that they're serious and that they're in this long term. OK, 
and you don't even have to tell this Capricorn anything. They intuitively sense it, okay? If we're dealing with an Aquarius, we've got new perspective. We have the Eight of Swords. We've got the Two of Swords. We've got the Queen of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands. We've got the Judgment card, and we have the Strength card. So, Cancer, there's an Aquarius here that, you know, has grown in some way, shape, or form. They're seeing that you've grown. They're seeing your relationship that you had with them in a different light okay and I think that now that that light bulb has gone off it's just too late okay it's just too late you don't really want to go there with this person you don't trust them you you just you want nothing to do with this Aquarius but this Aquarius is seeing your worth now your value now they're seeing the light of day they understand why you were fighting with them or what you meant or what you wanted or why you acted the way you did it's like a light bulb moment of going off that you know what cancer was right I can't act this way or I shouldn't do this you understand they want to come in to tell you that you were right and overcome but cancer I don't think that you want to have anything to do with this person for some of you this is an Aquarius that could be in prison um but you just you'll never forget what this person put you through you have forgiven but you just it's just not something that you want to revisit okay if we're dealing with a Pisces, we've got Wish, we've got the Knight of Wands, we've got the Justice card, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Sun card, we've got Temperance, and then we've got the Page of Pentacles. So Cancer, there is a Pisces in your energy here. This person is in and out, and I feel like all you keep doing is praying for this person to do right by you. So this is one of those situations, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Pisces where you're you're not looking at the big picture. You're not looking at this person for who they really are. This person is not giving hubby wifey vibes. Do you understand? This is a Pisces that is not giving commitment material vibes. Okay. This is a Pisces that dips in. They take whatever they want and they leave. Do you understand? And you're just sitting there patiently waiting with little hearts and birdies going around your head, praying and manifesting that this person will see your worth and settle down with you. Um, um, and the divine, you know, this could be a karmic soulmate that has been brought into your life because, you know, the temperance card is a divine soulmate and I'm seeing the justice card there. This could be a karmic that's being brought into your life to teach you the lesson to not, you know, to look at things for what they are and live in reality and not for what you wish they could be or want them to be and waste your precious time, energy, love, body on somebody that is not sitting in the energy that you want them to sit in. Okay. All right, my darlings, I love you all so much. Thank you to everyone in the chat. Thank you to all my moderators. I love you guys and I will see you guys soon. Take care, my darlings.